this is my photoshop go to plugin that i used to retouch my images and the last one is my favorite let me introduce them to you right now so the first time i'm going to show you guys is this retouch for me right here so this retouch for me actually helped me retouch my images and this is how i use it i'll first of all duplicate my layer and i'll just come to my action and just click on retouch for me so what this retouch for me does it helps me remove my blemishes automatically it helps me do my dodge about automatically and it automatically adds depth to my image so this layer right here is the one for the blemishes so if i just zoom in and show you the before and the after so you can see the before you can see the blemishes and this is the after the blemishes are no longer there and right thing this thing does for me it does a micro dodge and ball for me and this is a micro dodge and ball layer this is the before and this is the after the before and the after why this one right here is called portrait volume it just adds that edge to make the image stand out so this is the before and this is the after the before and after it's more like contrary dodge and ball but i reduce the opacity because i don't want it to be too much if i just take the opacity all the way to 100 you are going to see the effect so this is the before and this is the after i'm just going to reduce the opacity like this this is how i like it now it is uh, not an action it's actually a photoshop plugin but i just turn it into an action so that it will be easier for me to do it but this is the um plugin right here you can just click on touch on me and if you want it to do the jump on only you can click on the jump on if you want it to remove the blemishes you can click on here but if you want to do that contrary with the jump on you can just click on this portrait volume right here it's going to do it for you so that's one of my go-to plugin in photoshop the other one I want to talk about is the portrait shop plugin so I use this portrait shop plugin after I've actually done my focus separation it's just going to make the image look a little bit smoother and to use that all I have to do is come to my filter come to my image unique and just click on this portrait right here and it's going to make the image look smoother and it's going to make it look even better so this is my normal settings I'm going to click on OK and you're going to see the effect of this portrait right now and I'm going to do a separate video on how I use this So you can see how smooth this image look right now after the, after adding portraiture so this was uh the before portraiture and this is after portraiture before portraiture and after portraiture you can see how smooth this image look it looks as if you have already retouched this image now the one i want to talk about lastly is my favorite and it's called the retouching academy plugin which is what i use most of the time so this is my retouching academy right here and inside this retouching academy i have my dodge and burn i have my focus separation I can choose to add sharpness i can choose to add any adjustment which i want i can use to add this magical skin tone so this is the academy is my favorite go-to plugin i use it all the time so these are my go-to plugins when i'm using photoshop to retouch my image and if you want an in-depth tutorial on how i use this plugin right here let me know in the comment section and i'm going to make that video i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative